वेलकम बैक टू केमिस्ट्री कॉन्सेप्ट एंड लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट रदर फोर्ड मॉडल ओके एंड इन ऑर्डर टू प्रपोज द रदर फोर्ड मॉडल अटोमिक मॉडल रदर फोर्ड कैरीड आउट अ वेरी फेमस एक्सपेरिमेंट कॉल्ड रदर फोर्ड गोल्ड फॉयल एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड इन हिज एक्सपेरिमेंट ही टूक अ गोल्ड फॉयल made up of gold why only gold because gold is the most malleable substance and the thinnest foil can be made up of gold only okay okay and he put a fluorescent screen behind that gold foil for a specific reason which i'll be discussing uh, very soon and he took a source of alpha particle let's say uranium like something and from that source he bombarded the alpha particles on the gold foil and there were few observations made by rutherford and one of them was that most of the alpha particles went straight through the foil and they collided with the screen behind the gold foil where they they, they produced a spark and with the help of that spark that uh, the, the rutherford was able to find out that whether the particle went straight or it was deflected okay so most of the particles went straight without any deflection while few of them deflected by small angles from their path okay and one out of every 20000 almost 20000 particles came back to the same path that means it was deflected by 180 now these were the observations made by rutherford now these observations give some uh, give some very crucial information about the structure of atom let's discuss those one by one first of all what is alpha particle alpha particle is actually helium nucleus that means it is a heavy the mass is 4 and the charge is plus 2 it's a heavy particle with a plus 2 mass with a positive mass now if um that means if most of the alpha particles are going straight without any in without any deflection that means the most of the space in the atom is empty that's why alpha particles are passing straight without any problem few of them are deflecting and one is just bouncing back into the same direction that means there is positive charge but that positive charge is located in very small space very small region that's why only those particles which were go going near to that positively space is being deflected and that positive space very small positive space is called nucleus and it was assumed by the other by other four that most of the positive charge or you can say entire positive charge is concentrated in in that small portion called nucleus itself and because a heavy charge a heavily charged alpha particle came back after collision into the same direction it is probably because there was a head on collision between that nucleus and the alpha particle and the nucleus is very heavy that's why alpha particle was sent back into the direction from where it came and on the basis of these observations rutherford said that actually in an atom most of the space is empty all the positive charge is present in the center all the positive charge and entire mass is present in the center called nucleus and nucleus is positively charged that's why most of the particles went straight without any deflection okay but those those particles which came close to the nucleus were deflected by small angle because of repulsion between positively charged alpha particle and positively charged nucleus and very rare and very few particles which collided with the nucleus head on have to come back into the direction from where they were sent okay and on this basis itself rutherford proposed the model atomic model in which he said that entire mass is on the small positive region called nucleus and there is lot of empty space around nucleus 
and their circular paths in which electron revolve around the nucleus in the same way as planets revolve around the nucleus this is called planetary mo model of atom or rutherford model of atom in which there is a nucleus positively charged nucleus they are circular orbits around the nucleus in which electrons revolve okay and there is strong electrostatic force of attraction between nucleus and electron and this strong electrostatic force of attraction is uh, uh, balanced by the centrifugal force which is produced due because of revolution of nucleus around uh, of electron around the nucleus Ele uh, electron is revolving around around the nucleus which is creating a centripetal force okay and then there is an attractive force between nucleus and electron and these forces are balanced these two opposite forces are balanced in such a way that the electron doesn't fall in the nucleus and it starts and it's, it keeps on revolving around the nucleus but then there, there was a drawback the drawback was there came a theory by Maxwell, the scientist Maxwell, who said that if electron is revolving around the nucleus, that means a charge is under acceleration. A charge is under acceleration because a circular path is a path or a circular motion is a motion of continuous acceleration. Because at every path, the electron is changing its direction. If the direction is changing, velocity is changing. If velocity is changing, it is called acceleration. So whenever a charge is moving under acceleration, it will lose its energy. And eventually when the electron is losing its energy it will get more and more attracted toward the nucleus and finally it will collide with the nucleus and the atom will collapse so this stability was not explained by the food model and this was a big drawback stay tuned for more videos of atomic structure and other topics of chemistry and don't forget to subscribe and we love if you give your feedback in the comment section this will help us to improve further thank you